Alright guys, Tom here, and welcome to the last WWE TLC 2012 prediction, and this is it. This is it, the main event. Ryback teaming up with Kane and Daniel Bryan, Team Hell No, who are finally got on the same page, apparently, versus the NXT's one and only The Shield, who are... This is representing for fans of WWE, all the new, the future for the WWE. With Ryback, the future is now. He was scheduled to battle CM Punk for CM Punk's WWE Championship before an injury curtailed. Those plans were put to shred. So we have this match now. And that match was actually cancelled, which is kind of depressing. But Ryback was thrown into the WWE Championship picture because of Cena's injury at Hell in a Cell 2012 this year, a few pay-per-views ago in October. I think it was October the 28th. So WWE have kept with Ryback, showing he is a big future for the WWE and the whole of the universe are behind him. Ryback lost under controversial endings at both Hell in a Cell due to Brad Maddox's low blow and Survivor Series due to The Shield coming from nowhere. Nobody had hardly heard with them except for the people who watched NXT and then he put him through the announcers table. I personally think that think if it wasn't for Punk's injury, thanks to Ryback smashing Punk through a table on Raw, the 3rd of December show, the Shield yet again would have interfered and Punk would have cheekily climbed the ladder to get the WWE Championship after Ryback was smashed through the Spanish announcers table because now we have a tables, ladders and chairs match, the only full TLC match of the night being the main event. It would have been a TLC match between CM Punk and Ryback where we now have a six man the first ever six man tag team match two on two teams going head to head for no title and um they won't literally have to use ladders to climb up and get something. They just have to win by pinfall or submission. But anything can go. They can run around. They can do literally anything. They can use chairs. They can use tables. They can use ladders. But why do they keep going with controversial endings to his last two matches being Ryback I'm talking about here? WWE wanted to keep Ryback's unbeaten streak to WrestleMania 29. But instead... Did it under controversial losses to keep his domination character. Now you're probably thinking, where am I going with this domination character? This brings me to Brock Lesnar. Yes, the one and only Brock Lesnar. Not been seen in the WWE since the night after SummerSlam 2012 in the summer. He said he was not the king of all... He said, he said basically what he said on that Raw. He said he was now the king of kings after defeating Triple H in... Possibly the most overhyped match I have ever seen in the WWE, and I have been watching WWE for years and years. I've been watching it for over 10 years, and um, he basically said he was the king of the ring, the king of kings over Triple H and everybody, and has nothing else to prove. So we haven't seen Brock Lesnar since then. And talking about king of the ring, king of the kings, ahem. Uh Ryback. Instead of the original plan to use the shield again at TLC, they will use Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar will come in out of the crowd and smash Ryback through an announcer's table. Yes, again, that will mean we have another controversial ending. I did a video about the possible match Ryback versus Lesnar at WrestleMania 29. And as I just said that, I just got some slight goosebumps. As Lesnar is featured on the poster of WrestleMania 29. Like I said in that video, you, there's a nice little thumbnail in the top left hand corner. If you're wondering if you want to watch that video, but if you go into WWE.com, go to the WrestleMania 29 tab, um, he is on the poster next to Triple H and I believe The Rock. It seems too early to start thinking about WrestleMania 29 and should leave it up until Royal Rumble because that's when the road to Royal WrestleMania begins. Sorry, but with Punk's injury, now is the time. This would possibly set either a match off at Royal Rumble, Lesnar versus Ryback, or for WrestleMania 29. Whether they go straight for it at Royal Rumble or build it up like they did for the Triple H match, they built that match up so, so much that it actually ended up not delivering. So whether they'll go for the Royal Rumble and learn from their mistakes, get the Lesnar versus Ryback match, or they'll go at, till WrestleMania 29 and make them build that match up for three months from Royal Rumble to WrestleMania 29. The showcase TLC match will benefit as a result. Throwing him being Ryback and Team Hell No into the ring on the same team 
at the same time, it's almost not even fair on these NXT youngsters who practically don't even know what they're doing, messing with Team Hell No, then Randy Orton, then Ryback. They don't really know what they've got themselves into. However, the youngsters of the Shield could get a huge push after a good show, win or loss, it doesn't really matter. But for me, keeping the Shield in the WWE needs a win from the Shield. Lesnar helps the Shield by winning. How about this? Lesnar helps the Shield win by pushing right back through the analysis table, probably the Spanish analysis table, and keeps the universe heat on the Shield, making them get a push. It keeps them making an impact on the W. WE. The Shields are something new. We've not seen anything like this. Even TNA started copying them on their pay-per-view on Sunday. And why more so and this proves why WWE need more stars from NXT and why they're vital for the WWE to move on from their current state. Making the Shield win will show a great example as to what the WWE has to offer for the fans in the future. And sets up a very, very important match at WrestleMania 29 or possibly Royal Rumble. 2013, it sets up the Lesnar versus Ryback match, which could possibly steal the show at either one of these pay-per-views. It'd be so good. Imagine ending with Brock Lesnar coming back, making a huge impact on the crowd and Ryback. Ryback versus Brock Lesnar. Ryback gets put through an announcer's table and the Shield help to win. These youngsters get a win. It'd be so, so, so epic. So for me, for the heat to carry on, the WWE to get up against the Shield and for the Shield to keep making an impact on the WWE and to prove to everybody in the WWE as being the universe, I'm not on about superstars here, for the universe to get behind them, it needs a win from the Shield to prove that NXT is really vital for the WWE as they're actually thinking about pulling away from the PG era. It'd be vital to show that WWE are moving in a new direction by bringing in no new and upcoming stars. So I think the Shield is a very, very important chance to show everybody that youngsters can do it. Youngsters can come into the WWE and win. And I think it would really keep the Shield going. So if the Shield lose, there's, there's not really a lot they can do. There's not really... There isn't really a lot for them to do. So for me, the Shield has got to win t for them to keep the heat up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, at the end of every single TLC video I have said, in the comment section, I'll put Ryback or Team Hell knows to win. Um, like this comment if you think they'll win. Or I'll put like if you think the Shield will win. And I will also might put like if you think Brock Lesnar will win and set up a match for Ryback versus Brock Lesnar at possibly Royal Rumble 2013 or WrestleMania 29. How epic does does that sound, guys? Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.